Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate it. Now, TomTom Tom were very kind enough to give me their new Go Expert. It's a brand new device. It's not long been out. I've released a video already where I went through uh, the majority of the features on it. This video is all about my favourite two uh, features and I'm going to go into a little bit more detail on each one. So stay tuned. Okay, so my first favorite feature on the brand new TomTom Tom Go Expert is the live restrictions. Now, if you don't know what this is, basically when you're driving, doesn't matter if you're on a route or whether you're driving freestyle, uh, if you will, uh, if you look on the map itself, I'll have some footage overlaying right now, you will be able to see at the start of the junctions if there is a weight limit, a width limit, or even height on a bridge. It's really, really handy. It comes in useful quite a lot. I've been in and out of London recently, uh, and although I've got a route planned, it still tells you that there's a weight limit down each road, which is handy. It just gives you a bit more peace of mind, you know, that you shouldn't be going down that road. Now you could be approaching a bridge and it would be telling you that there is a certain height on the bridge because that's the other thing as well. It would tell you what the height of the bridge is. So if you know, for example, uh, I'm 14 foot three, then you can have a look at the Tom Tom. It will tell you, oh, that bridge is actually 15 seven. You're okay, you can get under it. That's just an example. Uh, you've also got width limits, weight limits, all that sort of good stuff. And if you were to go through one of these areas, to so say that you're not on a, a planned route or even on a planned route, and you go through the weight limit, it will come up in red on the right hand side saying that you're in a zone which is not suitable for the vehicle. I just think that's a really, really good sort of feature to have on the TomTom, -tom, and uh, I think it's gonna come in handy for a lot of drivers. You've also got updated ADR tunnel code and UN class restrictions as well. So if you're driving like, for example, a tanker, uh, and you're going, I don't know, through Dartford Tunnel, for example, it's gonna give you all the warnings. So uh, that's just another thing as well. So you can select what type of UN class you have. All the classes are on there, and uh, you just tick the one that you have, and it will take you the route suitable for that cargo. But my all-time favorite thing on the TomTom -tom is the new custom heavy goods vehicle routing. It is easier than ever before to create your own custom route. So as I've already mentioned, I've been going in and out of London all week this week, and there's this particular route that we have to take in. However, the sat-nav doesn't want to take me down this route. And the reason why is because there is an 18 ton weight limit, but you can manually select the pinpoint on the map where you want to go, and it will take you to that road. So I'm going to show you now in real time. So if I go to my recent destinations, Grove Road in London is where I want to go. Uh, we're delivering to a festival there. Uh, that's exactly where we want to go. We want to select drive. It's going to come up with the three different routes that it always calculates. It's really fast how quickly it calculates these as well. One route, two route, and the third route. So we want to take the first route in, which takes us up and around the M25. That is the route we want. However, we want to take the A12, then the A11, and then we want to come off at the crossroads and turn right. So this is where we want to be. So the sat nav's taken us down here to come back up on ourselves and around to there. That's not what we want to do. We want to come around this way and down and then up. So all we've got to do is zoom in on this place here, Alexand Alam Alamda place, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, and this is the 18 ton weight limit in question. Uh, but this is the designated route that we've been asked to go in. So all we do is press and hold where we want to go, add that to the stop, and it's now going to recalculate the route and take that stop into consideration. Now it tells us that the route does not comply with our vehicle profile. That's obviously because we told the sat nav that we weigh more than 18 tons. And there we go, look, it's warning us there on the map that that is an actual 18 ton weight limit. As I said, we have to go in that way because that's the designated route. Now this is something that happens a lot with HGV drivers. There's all these weight limits that pop up everywhere. Seven and a half ton, 18 ton, 
three and a half ton in some cases. Uh, but a lot of the places we deliver to are within these weight limits. And we are allowed access into those weight limits to do those deliveries. Obviously the sat nav being a HGV sat nav will automatically not take you through those routes because it's trying to avoid those routes. That's the whole point of having a, a truck sat nav so you don't get into trouble like that. But in some cases you have to take those routes and that's what you do. You just pinpoint where exactly you want to go. But that's not all. Say, for example, you were a multi-drop driver, right? So we are starting here in Oxford. We've got that pinpoint there. We're going to end up in London. But say, say we want to go down to here a lot. Grays in Essex. That's probably going to be Tilbury Docks. It is. We can add that to our destination as well. We can add a stop. So it's going to take that into consideration. Okay, then say we want to go to a save point up here. So this is another place we go to, Tothill Services. Actually, I've not been there for a while, but we can add that to the stop as well. And say we want to put in our own address as well, not just our save addresses. So we can go up to the search bar here. We can type in an address. I've got no idea where we're going to go, so I'm just going to make up a, a Swindon postcode because I'm from Swindon. SN31DE. Is that a real address? Yes, it is. If you live there, shout out. <laughs> That's the completely random address. Add that to stop. So say we had a delivery there as well. We can add that to our route. And uh, here we go. So it's got all the destinations that we've put in, including the drop in London. Uh, let's add another one here in Wales. That's going to be Avon Mouth Range. So we can add that as well. So we've got loads of multi-drop deliveries now organised all across the width of the UK. Look. Now say we want to do those drops in a specific order. We've just typed them in as we've seen them on our paperwork, but actually we want to go a different way. We can hit the three buttons down there. We can scroll down to reorder stops and now it's going to ask us to select our stops in the order of which we want to do. So we've got six stops, as you can see, look here. And we're starting here in Oxford. So we could say, actually, we want to go all the way over here first. And then we want to go to Swindon. And then we want to go down to here. Then we want to go to London. And then we want to go to Tilbury Docks. Uh, actually, we've got that safe part there as well. Look, so we can say we want to go there. And then we want to go to Tilbury Docks. So those are the lines. That's what we want to do. It's going to find us the best route now to do that order instead. And there we go, Bob's your uncle. It's that easy to reorder your stops, especially if you're a multi-drop delivery driver. Personally, I'm not, but um, if I were, that is definitely a feature I'm gonna be using a lot. But uh, what I do use the, the pin drop for the most is to, to reorganize my route so I can go the way that I want to go. So there we go, they are my two favorite features on the TomTom Go Expert. We've got the live restrictions telling you your height, your width, and your weight limits going down any of the roads uh, parallel to you or in front of you. And we've got the custom routing for heavy goods vehicles. I think they're game changers within the TomTom -tom and definitely my favorite features out of the lot. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.